Hello everyone, I'm Alex Dykes, and this is not our normal weekly review video. Instead, this is the beginning of a journey as we transform this 2000 model year Jeep Grand Cherokee into an off-road farm use vehicle. Now this is a 2000 Grand Cherokee Limited, like I said, and it was literally driven by a little old lady from Texas, my mother, who has used it as her daily driver since it was brand new, and she's given it to us because she doesn't really know what's gonna happen to it. As you can see from the cars in line, it may look like we have an SUV fetish going on here in the mountains. We have a 2006 Saab 97 Aero, that's the one with the Corvette engine in it. We have a GMC Envoy here, which I'm trying to get rid of. So if you're interested in a GMC Envoy and you live near the San Francisco Bay Area, let me know, 2002 GMC Envoy. Those aren't what we're talking about today, however, it's this Jeep Grand Cherokee and the project I'm calling Jeep Grand Comanche. Because if you recall, Jeep used to have a pickup truck-like vehicle. It was based on the Jeep Cherokee. Basically, they just cut off the Cherokee somewhere around here and they put in a pickup truck bed and then called it the Jeep Comanche instead of the Jeep Cherokee. That's exactly what we're gonna do with this Grand Cherokee if everything goes right. The plan, as it stands, is to cut the body right along here and then all the way along here to create a pickup bed style Grand Cherokee. So why bother with this project? Well, it's really money based because I really wanted something like a John Deere Gator to wander around our property and help feed the chickens, move feed around, move hay around, take things down to the orchard further down the hill. But I don't have that kind of money hanging around and the Grand Cherokee was the perfect price. It was free. So everything that we're gonna do to this Grand Cherokee, we're gonna try and do on the cheap uh, with as, as little as possible being spent on it. So at this point, we spent about $1,500 or so. We're gonna add a lift kit, we're gonna do some tire work, and then we're gonna remove the interior and then start hacking apart this unibody car. Step one was to get some lovely off-road rubber, and here we have a 265-70R16. Obviously, this won't fit into the wheel wells directly, as you can see there, without modification. So what we're gonna have to do first is we're gonna have to do a three-inch lift on the Grand Cherokee, and then we'll be able to put these new steel wheels and these new tires on the machine and see how it works. The second phase will be removing the top and the sides of the Grand Cherokee to create more of a pickup truck style bed. And then the third part is gonna be the part that I'm not quite sure whether or not this will work. And it's removing the hatch and then relocating the hatch to be the backside of a pickup truck style cab right along here by the B pillars. So if you haven't clicked the subscribe banner yet, then go ahead and click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen so you can follow our antics. I really have no idea what will happen when we lop the top off the Grand Cherokee. It does have a hybrid unibody style construction, so it's not a true body on frame, but it's not your typical unibody vehicle either. Will it fold in half like a taco once we remove the top and try and drive it off road? Really not sure, but if you click that subscribe banner at the bottom of your screen, you can find out right along with us.